This episode was recorded last fall and we'll be airing more new episodes that we recorded before hiatus every Thursday through Halloween. Also, check out Dan's stand-up special, Dance Fatty Dance, on YouTube and subscribe to his new pod, Burbs Bros, with Sean Donnelly. Enjoy the show. Everybody, welcome to the It Couple Patreon. 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 I am uh, your host, married man, Dan St. Germain. <laughs> he has to put that in just in case any of you single ladies well, were Spavenza's hoping. Well, giving me these looks. Wishing and hoping. And this is his wife, Sarah. No last name? St. Germain. Alaco St. Germain. And we're here with our uh, producer, Danny Spaves. That's the worst. Spaventa. That's the worst. Danny Spaves. Is- Do I have to respond to that? No, I'm sorry. Spaventa. <laughs> Spaventa. How you guys doing? I mean, you know, it's it's fun. It's fun to do the Patreon right now. We're not doing a video, so it's it's a bit more of a intimate, uh, casual, a, casual. We're atmosphere. actually we're all sitting in a champagne glass hot tub right now. <laughs> Sarah is literally supine. <laughs> I am laying down like one of the grandparents in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and I don't want to get up right now. So I'm it's laying almost here. It's almost as if you're uh, motionless, ready to get abducted. <laughs> That's the worst transition. Ever. It's almost like I'm in bed, and then an alien breaks into my house <laughs> where I've been folks, suffering trauma for folks, years. Folks, it's no one will save you day. You feel <laughs> called out as the guest, you know, in your home. <laughs> At the it, it couple. Um, let's just start off. Immediate lesson this, this, this movie is teaching you. In order to stay alive, uh, what I got from it, Spaventa and Sarah, Mm -hmm. eventually I'll have to join Scientology. (laughs) That's kind of what I got from this movie. I'm ready for it. I will. I plan on divorcing Sarah and dating Bijou Phillips. Bijou. Now that she's single. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's um, the lesson that you got, Sarah? Do you agree with that? No, I don't understand your Scientology. <laughs> well, that's what the whole, the whole movie is like. The whole real, the the, the end, the lesson, not the spoiler, but the lesson of the movie is, hey, uh, it's coming, so might as well get down with the sickness. Okay, I guess so. You, um, you didn't see that? No, I didn't. I felt like it was, you know, by the end she got through her trauma, and it was better days ahead. It felt like a real what not to do in the case of an alien home invasion is go about your business the next day after killing an alien. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I was a little annoyed that she left the alien in the hallway for so long. This it's movie, like, yeah, it's it's like, I feel like Kevin McAllister would have done a better job mm-hmm. against these aliens, like as far as like thwarting them mm-hmm. than she, she did. She wasn't setting traps. She wasn't setting traps. There no. was no Christmas ornaments. Um, Although, to be fair, she did try to hang up um, and darken everything so they couldn't come in. Like their beams couldn't get through things, like the windows and doors. So she tried to board everything up. Um, That was the only way. And some sick, like, martial art moves of, like, kicks and punches and stuff. She didn't really have too many, though, did she? I'm just thinking mostly of the refrigerator when she pushes it. That was a good move. Bangs it. That was very Jackie Chan rumble in the Bronx. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, let's also just comment. Uh, probably the most unique thing about this movie is it's like basically no dialogue <gasps> the entire time. Wait, Spaventa. Yes, I mean, I and, and when there it, when there is dialogue, she's whispering. She's like, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry." It would be funny if just one time though, when she got hit by the alien, she went, "Owie, owie, 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 owie!" Oh like my the, pussy! Like the girl like, from damn. that viral video. <laughs> yeah, if it was me, I'd just be like, "Oh!" Like, the whole time. You would like you would like fart, fall out of the bed, and then be abducted. 
<laughs> is that Spaventa or me? Because it could honestly I mean, be me either. And, me, me and Spaventa, it's, <laughs> it's I would two, scream. Two sides, two sides of the same coin, baby. Would I scream or would I be calm in a situation? Oh, yeah, you would be calm. Sarah Alaco, <laughs> Sicilian from Long Island, Not would be just so uh, would be so calm once the aliens came. Give me a fucking break. You would be yelling at him. Screaming at him. Screaming at him. Mm-hmm. You, it would be like it would be it would be really rough. I I, I, I have you ever you watching this movie with you? Mm-hmm. You hate aliens. That's what I realized. Um, I tried to get her. I've been trying to get her to watch alien documentaries. Unacknowledged. There's a bunch of really good ones out, especially mm-hmm. now that like the U.S. government or either defense contractors are just revealing aliens exist. I'm trying to get Sarah on the alien train. Mm-hmm. Wants nothing to do with them. Well, it's not that. I mean, I'm I'm fascinated by the idea of life outside of here um, By that she means queens <laughs> yeah life uh yeah with with aliens the problem i have with them is how ugly they are and these are like time magazine like grays but this yes, is how they're always pictured and when you hear people talking about aliens it's never like well he was a handsome man with a beard it's always like he had these big eyes and three fingers and he was really skinny or they're really small like the ones they just found in Mexico well they didn't just find but they came out and it's like this tiny well, those little are fake. Yeah, that's definitely fake. <laughs> those are definitely fake <laughs> but those are 100% that like, that, that, what everyone dude, thinks an alien that whole looks thing like looked like an episode of is this cake you know, like would, when they brought those aliens yes. out, I was like, are they about to carve for this and we're going to realize it's strawberry I would love cake. that. Maybe I should make you an alien cake for your 40th. I wouldn't. I Do wouldn't, you want that? I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind Yeah, it. so I don't like the visual of them. And I just thought it was like, oh, and they're green and they're glowing. <laughs> Got so it. Here is I like the idea of aliens. But I don't like them physically. <laughs> they bring me no comfort or joy. <laughs> I like. <laughs> they bring me no comfort. Like it's like, like we're. I wasn't. Like, like she's in like a like a, a feng shui workshop or well, something. Well, I like. You know what I love? I love like little critters. I love creepy things. They can be disgusting and gross. I liked the tiny alien. I just don't like the big. Maybe it's because I'm short. I don't like really big tall things around me. Um, but I like monsters. That's why you think I'm five nine. <laughs> Like, she always says I'm 5'9". I'm 5 fucking 10. I mean, men always lie and they're an inch shorter I don't. than they say. Now, off the top of my head, the scariest movie alien, mm-hmm. maybe it's just because when I saw it, I was really young, uh, Signs. Mm-hmm. I, I, was, I liked that movie. I liked A lot of people movie didn't too. like it. Uh, I think it's it's kind of stupid. Like when you, it, it, there is something, we'll, we'll get to it in the plot. It's a little dumb. There's one thing about the signs that this movie exposes and we'll get to it. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. Which is probably the thing if you guys are all like film horror nerds, you already know what that is anyway. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I, I, I did like that movie and I thought that one, the one scene in Signs where it's like the found footage in the Middle East where the alien just walks by is, yes. the, scar- is the scariest the part scariest of the movie. fucking thing. Yeah. This you know? was not scary. These aliens did not scare me. I thought Caitlin Deaver was fantastic. She's a great actress. Yeah, she's awesome. Man. She physically, she's you like know, young, uh, I'm Jody sure Foster. they had, I know they had stunt doubles, but like anything you saw with like a tight shot of her, she just really got into this. And how amazing for an actor to not have to memorize dialogue, but you do have to memorize. They always give beats. those jobs to like the great actors. Which because they're, they like they can act without dialogue. Well, I can't memorize. That's the job I would love. I would love where, the one where I don't have to talk the whole time. Right, but could you imagine Dan in this film fighting off aliens? <laughs> like you'd you'd be you over could, in the you first five minutes. You could imagine me in this film, but you could imagine me being like in the town. Being oh, like, for oh, sure. Oh, 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 like <laughs> one of the through. people spitting on her. <laughs> yeah, one of the people <laughs> spitting on her. Right. You definitely okay. So let's talk about this film, how it begins. Yeah. Shall well, we? no, no. What's just just some just some boilerplate facts out of the oh, way. Oh, Dan loves produced these. by Twentieth Century Fox, Fox Searchlight. Oh, can I say something really quick? Yeah, before? of course. How much did they fuck this up? Not putting this in theaters. Like, I don't think it really would have done. It. Uh, yeah. Really, I don't think this would have done well in theaters. Oh, I thought it would have done really yeah. well. No, I think this this is a this is a streamer. Um I just don't think I don't think it, it's enough of a draw. It's not big enough, you're saying? Yes, I think Caitlin is amazing, but I don't know based on the way films are distributed in today's world, maybe smaller theaters i just again i well, just don't think she's, she's kind of queen of the streamers so that's the only thing like she is she was on that uh 
She was on. She's like a Hulu darling. She was on that sick that Michael Keaton show, Dope she, Sick or whatever. And she was in a uh, Booksmart was a, was a big one. Yeah, and I love uh, Booksmart. Uh, but that wasn't. That but was that was in bomb, theaters, kind of wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I love that movie, but it didn't do that. Well. Right. I just well, don't think they bet on her. And I think nowadays, if you want to have a movie in a movie theater, it has to be Maybe like to a small one. art house film, or it has to be a Marvel movie. And that is why no, Martin but, but Scorsese says that the industry is dead. Yeah, but everyone. didn't they prove that wrong with with Barbenheimer or whatever? With Barbie and Oppenheimer? Those are two huge movies, though. No, but Oppenheimer cast. doesn't have like Oppenheimer isn't like a Marvel movie. It's like its well, own it's, insular and it, it, like uh, right. But I mean, a big spectacle of a movie. A sure, big I, I agree budget. with that. Like I agree Oppenheimer, with that. you needed to have the sound and the visuals, and that wouldn't have translated as well on streaming. Um, I agree. I agree and Barbie would have never done. I, Barbie, you had to see in a the theater. You had to make it a girl's trip. This is not a movie that I would. I would tell you, Dan. You know what, honey? Let's save the money and stay home and stream it. Well, you say that about everything. You say that about my medical <laughs> Do I bills. hate leaving my house? I had an open wound, and she's like, let's just get some fucking gorilla As I on. get older, I want less and less things and people around me. I don't know what I'm becoming. Uh, I would say Boo Radley. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to, if I had to, if I have to wager a guest, I would say a, a hot, like a fucking smoking, you thought you married. smoking hot ass Boo Radley. <laughs> yeah. The girl next door, the Boo Radley next door. <laughs> All right. Uh, 20th Century Fox, like I said. Uh, mm-hmm. Distributed by Fox Searchlight, written directed by Brian Duffield, whose name I always remember just because of The Simpsons, mm-hmm. the Duff Man. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is a one like like Sarah said. This is a one woman show, baby. This is just this is just Caitlin Deaver just fucking throwing everything against the wall. Caitlin Deaver and a lot of great working character yeah. actors. Caitlin Deaver is Bryn, um, and you know I don't think we even need to go through the rest of the cast. I no, mean, I gotta be honest, no, 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 it's no. not really the rest really of the cast isn't like. It's not. It's it. It's it's. It's, it's nobody kind of like you inc- know. Incidental. I hate to be rude to these actors who are working actors, but there's no other name that'll grab you. Yeah. Unless, of course, Dane Rhodes. I thought it was a little somebody. weird to have uh, Rob Schneider in it, but no, I'm just <laughs> joking. All right, let's uh, let's open on this. We open on Bryn smiling into the camera, looking at her dresses. The uh, house is dilapidated. Women, I've, I've noticed this because Sarah loved it too. Women love these types of dresses, and I think they look weird and creepy. But well, I noticed as soon as you saw that dress, you're like, "Oh, I love that dress." I think you guys all want to like be like on a homestead somewhere, like just yeah, like, barefoot. Yeah, exactly. Not like, a care trying in the to world. reassemble the porch after the fucking yeah, twister but I think came through. The- I didn't like the first. I like the dress she ended up picking because that first one felt very like rockabilly and i've never been that girl i've never been the girl that's like like you date before me i know i had had a little bit of a rockabilly face oh no dan dated women more like rock a titty am i right spivetta rock a pussy dan (laughs) rock a a pussy rock a pussy dan i know your type before me rock a pussy sounds like a fraggle rock strip bar (laughs) i would go to that if fraggles were stripping i think they'd be so cute okay so yeah so the dress is she's she lives we don't know if she lives alone actually but she's sort she's of well either way pleasant. she's uh, you know she's doing her own sewing yeah she's, she has a little mini village. village it's just nice to see a woman take care of the house oh uh, yeah shut up <laughs> she just punches me in we the have pussy. a woman by punch dan in the bus My pussy Women be crafting. Women be crafted. <gasps> you, you ever notice how white people be crafting like this and black people be crafting like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, never do that voice uh, ever again. Um, she's pack. You know, she's she's passing packages of dresses she made. By the way, this is what it's like Etsy. She's definitely see, yeah. like an Etsy. By the way, front. this is what most working from home scenarios look like, guys. It's mm-hmm. not. You know, like that, it's not this like beautiful, we always have this idea where it's like, you know, we're doing the movie um, Boogeyman and it's a, it's a therapist that works from home. It's always this glamorous job. No, it's usually just like somebody fucking being like, oh, fuck, I don't have enough stamps. Yeah. You know, like that's usually what working from home is. is just uh, like, Also the fact that she got dressed and showered and looked so pretty to go down and sew and then deliver packages. I get wanting to look pretty for like townspeople. I don't understand looking pretty and then getting to work like why wouldn't you she mean just... like looking pretty for like going into town she well, that's what she was doing i right? understood that but her sitting at the sewing machine would have been the first thing i did in sweatpants with coffee prior to <laughs> you know, like made me think don't curling you... my hair Do you remember like i had a friend she was i've had actually I, I should say this i to not specify it mm-hmm. i've had a couple 
friends who were females do this mm-hmm. where uh, they're like, well, you know what? On Friday night, I'm going to dress up. I'm going to take myself to dinner. Mm-hmm. I'm going to buy some flowers. I'm going to date myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's the sad. We've all dated ourselves. It's Mine like, just involves sweatpants yeah. and like Taco Bell. And I think in the pandemic, you know, there were these moments where, and you know, I lived alone, so I, I didn't really put on a suit and, have, it, and have dinner. But, you know. This is actually the Spaventa story of the pandemic. This entire movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, but, he was sewing dresses. But I think you know when people are uh, alone and isolated, sometimes they like to look good just just for them. I get it. No, I get it. There was that moment in COVID, though, to Spaventa's point, where everyone just got tired of looking like shit, and it was like <laughs> countdown to when salons opened, gyms opened again. No, I just had this like like vision of Spaventa like putting on like a tux with white gloves and like a top hat and with then a sitting cane. down with like one of those hungry man meals <laughs> and then just stop immediately sobbing like the immediately the sobbing brownie, into the meatloaf the just, just, the just meat hard loaf. crying like hard sobbing <laughs> you know <laughs> but it's just the top of the tux and the bottom and is still like, in shorts he grabs his weed bowl and he's still like crying <laughs> and as he's doing it he's, he's got to make the food taste better than mm-hmm. it is uh, <laughs> so she's in town dropping off her <laughs> Like a monocle. He's like, he's, he's, I'm sorry, I can't get it. If somebody, if we have a fan of the show, can, can somebody, you don't have Spaventa's picture, but man. Google Dan Spaventa. Follow him on Instagram. Yeah, follow him on Are Instagram. You private? Yeah, I'm no. private, but if you follow me, I'll If you follow it. Spaventa on Instagram, and then I want you to draw a picture of Spaventa in a top hat in front of those one, one of those hungry man microwave dinners just sobbing hysterically. Yeah, who's good at, um? what is it, Cava? Is that what all the kids Canva. are using? Canva. Canva. Oh, I don't even know mad, the name of it. We're all going to be an app. just getting so old. Like, I feel my mortality <laughs> more than ever. Yeah, so she's, uh, she goes... Uh, she's apparently the town pariah. She starts, like, waving people at the graveyard. Nobody notices or cares. Mm-hmm. Um, she's snooping at a cop kissing an age-appropriate woman. She's hiding from them. Which I was... Yeah, I was like... I, I, I thought this was an affair, and that's mm-hmm. when I realized, like, how few movies show intimacy between older married couples like and a cop and yeah. a woman dressed uh, like a civilian like a new horror movie would be a couple just married 10 years making out mm. <laughs> you know people are like oh gross put it, it is away. the first thing that goes away when you're in a long-term relationship the making out because making out is always like the first thing and then other things and by the time you're like married <laughs> like not on the mouth yeah, we've we've made <laughs> Don't out, kiss me on the I mouth, Sarah. Like, but it's <laughs> Don't kiss me on the mouth. So, yeah, she's um writing a letter to Maud. She's making a nice little dinner for himself. Maud is a friend, we're assuming. Uh I never I when I feel bad about myself, I never like make a dinner for myself, but like I usually just but then then you wrote Sarah wrote and the notes, yeah, well, you don't even know how to cook and I'm like, "Well, that's he not really true." Yeah, like you're fucking Bobby Flay over here. Well, excuse me, I know the, how to when use When we first start dating, she's like, "You can you're going to Oh, man, can't <laughs> wait until my shrimp scampi. I've wet <laughs> I've yet. It's been 6 fucking years. I've yet to have this <laughs> shrimp scampi. So I've never made you my shrimp scampi. No. It's the only thing I really make well. It's <laughs> Giada's recipe. I'll make it for you, babe. Someday. Um, what were you saying, Savannah? I don't think I've ever cooked for you. Okay, go on. Sorry, I was going to say, uh, you guys got to try my lasagna. Wait, really? Night. Yeah, it was really good. good. Do you have it's like a stofers. secret No, it's just, uh, I, I approximate between like four different uh, uh, cookbooks and shit. And, uh, oh, you mix it up. You mix oh, up nice. different recipes and it comes out okay. Yeah. Okay, I like We're this. like, Savannah, this is a slice of Elio's pizza. <laughs> uh, the soundtrack <laughs> is weird in this movie, but hopeful. Joseph Trapanese did it. We are Trapanese, if you please. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, but anyway, Bryn just turns off her lights and goes to bed. Uh, there's we- This is where like there's weird sound. Okay, so this is when the movie starts getting spooky. Mm-hmm. There's weird sounds and all the lights go on and off. She goes downstairs. The door creaks open. A bell jingles. She sees the shadow of something moving through the living room. Mm-hmm. Um, this is, by the way, how our multi poo treats us because we have a three pound dog and Spavent has seen this dog Mushu right he's screamed at Spaventa before yeah he'll Loud. growl Loud. at you he barks at any our poor neighbor next door that man can't leave his apartment without Mushu through a door <laughs> screaming at him he's also laying on my neck right now just in case anyone wants to know how small he is he's tiny he's a little tiny neck warmer in his famous diaper in the diaper baby diapes baby diapes 
Baby diapers. <laughs> Um, so it comes, this little alien it comes in her bedroom. It misses her. It goes on her roof. Doesn't notice that she's under uh, under the bed. Mm-hmm. She goes downstairs. Now we know that, you know, the aliens are, are telekinetic. They're kind of moving stuff around. It, it's, it's kind of a funny scene, even mm-hmm. though it, like, she gets trapped behind the bathroom door. Um, and then the alien's behind her, and she slams the bathroom door no, on the alien. No, it's the refrigerator. Refrigerator, sorry. Refrigerator yeah, door. she's in the she kitchen. She slams the refrigerator door on the alien, which is a great scene. And then she runs to the front door, and then the alien uses telekinesis to hit her in the front door. Mm-hmm. It is the, it is the most home alone the movie is. The door breaks, falls yeah. on her. Mm-hmm. It's the most home alone. Just pop, pop, pop. Like it's, it's like a scene from Mar- Mousetrap, but... She somehow gets the better of this alien and stabs it with a part of one of her houses, I guess. Or what was yeah, that? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was some sort of debris, uh, some, some broken, or, or was it a scissor? I no, it, it wasn't a scissor. She does that at another time toward the end. This was one of the little houses, the, like the roof of mm. um, the mini village that the alien destroyed. She picked up a piece and stabbed it with it, and then green goo came out. And right. Green goo. Green. I, I think so. Yeah. yeah. I, I always was. assume their stuff is green. Their blood. Their blood is green. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which maybe that's racist. I don't know. No. Can you be racist towards a toward uh, an alien? Un, well, an unconfirmed race of people, which are gray aliens. Who probably don't even look like they that. They have a race. They have a race. <laughs> <laughs> and Sarah hates them. Isn't that like a rabbi starting dinner? <laughs> they have a race. I don't know. They have a race. Uh, anyway, um, the, the the thing that is kind of unique about this movie is because, you know, we don't know, unless Sarah already blew it, we don't know why the town hates her. I didn't blow anything uh, Okay, no, I'm just, I'm just wondering. I'm definitely not blowing you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, so yeah, she... Um, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was I saying? We get she she can't really there's she it's it, she's unable to really tell whether or not in the beginning the people are body snatched because the the town already hates her so she's already made to feel like an alien so that's kind of like what they're playing with in this movie of you know the idea of what of being an outsider and what is what what does being an outsider mean um, especially in this mm. you know small tight knit town but she does pass a mail truck. Um, and it's, it's, it's well, like he's delivering down. a package to her. Well, it, that was the d- day earlier he was delivering the package. Mm-hmm. This, the mail truck's just destroyed. Oh, you mean she discovers She discovers it destroyed. Yep. So she knows like something is up, which is like, honestly, I've seen for, have you seen this with Amazon packages in the fucking city where it's like, I've literally seen a guy kick a box down mm-hmm. a block to get to an mm-hmm. apartment. Like, I'm, Dan, so do like, you remember what happened with our beautiful, um, pot uh cooking pot set that your aunt gave us for an our engagement gift mm-hmm. when it was delivered to my mom's house it was destroyed right? it was destroyed and i said to dan this is back? i said this is the worst thing i've ever seen in my life and he goes you hugged your dad's dead body and he's not wrong <laughs> like i was like this is the worst thing that's ever happened she was to really me. freaking out so i had to like calm her down yeah that way he calmed me down was wow. using reality so okay, so this mailman is obviously possessed, yeah. taken over by the aliens. It's almost like he's well, no, a that's not. We, we're, we're jumping, we're jumping, we're jumping. Oh shit! We, sorry. We, 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 let me let me take. Uh, take it back, babe. What, uh, take it wait, back. Captain Big Time, take take uh, take the plot wheel. <laughs> Roll it on back. Roll it on Roll back. It. Well, she goes to the police precinct. You know, she's debating whether or not to tell him, and we don't know why. You know, the police kind of hate her, but. Um, she gets in there, and the cop from earlier, and the older woman, the age appropriate woman. Sp- the age of pervert woman spits in her fucking face. One second, I need to interject. When she's writing to Maud, did we talk about how she said, I saw your parents today? Uh, and oh, that's we, how we, we know that that is her friend Maud, who she's writing. So when the mom spits on her, it's like, well, why does this woman hate Maud's friend? Yeah. It, okay, I think that's important on. to establish just for the spitting. She then, you know, gets out of the precinct. She collapses on a wall with a painting of this woman's flowing red hair which feels like the foreshadowing the ending mm-hmm, a little bit mm-hmm. um, but then she gets back on the bus and is attacked by uh back by a mailman who appears to be body snatched now the mailman from oh, yesterday right. who was mm-hmm. like nba jamming the packages and now is just you know a straight up like body you know just a straight up body snatched by aliens 
dude and you know he goes after her but she escapes to a church goes to a small graveyard sees ma's grave sees you know, who's ma's grave. grave this Thank is kind you. of like you know a- after the male attack it's kind of like you know we're that berserker phase of the horror movie where it gets crazy there's always that moment in a horror movie where it all gets crazy right and this is- it falls apart i have a quick thing mm-hmm. to to put in if this happened to you would uh-huh. you have stayed in your fucking town wouldn't you have left well, that's the question, right? Is it like... Do well, sometimes you, you can't afford to leave. And is this uh, invasion happening just everywhere? Like, you don't really know. Mm. Well, you turn on the news. But to be- I'm gonna that is true. No one... That, that is a, actually, that's a big Achilles heel of this movie, is that no one ever turns on the news ever. Because it's silent the whole but time. But there's also nobody reporting to any... Uh, buildings or locations like the cops aren't coming the firemen yeah. aren't coming leading you to believe is everyone just been taken over by aliens and she's the only one because she fought them off that's another thing too where it's like oh, no no one no no news heard about it because everyone's already been taken over right and uh, and she would feel ashamed to tell any to call because she's already been spit on by a cop okay I'll buy that uh, yeah but we know that shit's well cop's wife cop's wife Cop's wife, sorry. Yeah, he just glares we, at her. We we know that shit is about to fucking go down <laughs> yeah. because all these spooky clouds mm-hmm. start coming to town. Mm-hmm. She like goes like uh, by a group of people who seem to be worshiping the clouds. They're all like, you know, like you know, like, like hand out stretched in the air. So getting like, some sort of like energy vibration from whatever's up there. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. it's very like like really good Molly, Molly at Burning Man sort of sort of vibe. Um, but this is where we get to our third act, baby, which is just mm-hmm. bop, 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 machine gun, horror, mm. just like, just her versus the aliens. Fucking crazy, dude. She, she gets some, she starts boarding up the windows, which seems a little pointless. When she was doing the boarding up the windows, I was like, I don't, we've seen this thing already, like rip a door off its hinges. Right. What's she, what's she going to do with like, you know, well, maybe she thought cloth. it could only if it was outside of the house, it couldn't get in this way. But the only way it could get in was through a window and then it could destroy things because mm-hmm. it destroyed the alien originally started destroying her house from within the house. It wasn't outside of the house. And maybe she thought the um, the ray that like sucks her up couldn't get inside if she poured up the windows or something 100 percent, it blocked it and it kind of did in a way until it I mean, started i guess i would just my my solution would be just immediately dropping my pants sticking my ass in the air and being like probe me daddy i mean you do that when you have a bad show i do You're <laughs> i right. once watched dan that's, that's what the booker of uh that's why i don't <laughs> i once watched helium, him uh, do stand do up where were you with Rosebud? She was opening oh, for you. Oh, yeah, it was uh, Baltimore. It was in Baltimore autos. at a club where he just gave up halfway through and then asked everyone to take a pool stick because there was a pool table and shove it up his ass. That's and Rosebud true. looks at me and goes, is he asking everyone to shove <laughs> the thing yeah, up I his ass? Yeah, I was asking the entire crowd to fuck my ass. I was like, he's having a bad day. I was trying to just... get, I was, I was, it was, it was consensual accused. That's what that was. <laughs> the VO nobody, from The Sopranos. By the yeah. one, nobody took the bait. No one tried no to. No one took the bait. No one, no one took to the bait. Shove no, a pool cue. No, uh, no cue? one took the bait. Pool, not pool stick. I don't know. I don't. It's a cue. Pool. Cue, right? So this alien, this alien, uh, immediately, you know, like fucking blast through her, you know, contraptions, and he's a little guy. He little, dr- he a little guy. I jumped. I liked him. I it thought he was spooky, cute. But uh, it, you know. I jumped. You know me. Um, clearly, you know they're searching for her. They grab the body, right? Um, she goes downstairs in the basement. She grabs scissors and tries to hail, hide from the alien, but he finds her. It's now like her and the alien just kind of like like almost like a little fight, you know? The the ones like mm-hmm. running up the stairs. She starts throwing kitchen stuff at him. This is where it exposes signs, folks, because she starts throwing boiling water at this alien, and it's like ah fuck that sucks, but it doesn't kill it. Mm-hmm. And you're like, man, that was really dumb in signs that they went to a, a planet that was 70% water. Let's mm-hmm. be real. They were doing some sort of like holy water religious shit in signs, right? They were. I guess. I, there I, that's was the just first all time that... I thought of that. Yeah. Who's the kid in? Well, Who's the kid in Abigail signs? Breslin? Yeah, she's the daughter. And the mom dies. There's always a dead mom. It goes back to like the Disney cartoons of like all of there. It's even evil mom or the mom has died. And it's yeah. the... 
ingenue with the father who's like mean or something or marry some old bitch or, yeah or just like christian like mel gibson right super christian um she doesn't she throws the water on she doesn't kill it uh the alien then follows her upstairs and she kind of like and kind of like stalks dances her uh gets out of the windows but is pulled back and then she stabs it with a mop handle and knocks it with a drawer so she kills the little guy Yep. Exits, exits the house and immediately we were, were realized we're back in we're back in the shark tank because right above the shed is this giant ass fucking long legged alien Hate looks it. like you know kind of like a uh, giant fucking grasshopper Tom Noonan or something Tom uh, <laughs> it, it's a lot bigger and has for a second though like in the moonlight I thought it was Mark Zuckerberg like the way <laughs> that it bounced off her face uh, the space uh, it has the same social skills right. as a Mark the, the, they, they all look like salad tongs That's, which is kind of like Almost like every xenomorph and the aliens from A Quiet Place, they all kind of have the salad tongue body. Um, and you know, he gra- he he grabs her. He starts communicating with the spaceship and and like like dancing like an air traffic controller. Which, if you've seen Sarah at a wedding, very similar. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm a great dancer <laughs> in my head. I think I'm a triple threat. Like I could sing, I can dance. I used to act and I used to sing too. But Dan says I look like one of those blow up things outside a car wash. <laughs> I um, just try to do the Trump thing. I just do the hands. The jerking off two dicks at once. Yes, I love that. <laughs> I've never heard of it described that It's way. great. It's true. Uh, <laughs> I do a lot of claps and like arm wiggles. It's a lot of upper it's body. A macho Man. What song did they listen to? Um, Trump ma- no, it was uh, YMCA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But he loves all songs. He's he's our most art. He's our most art. art friendly president who is this oh trump. trump would love to watch a scary movie with trump oh i would oh love to God. watch did it. you see the video of him with the lights wanting the lights off he's like off right? turn them off <laughs> he acted like my eight-year-old he's, nephew he's, he's, he's sounded like uh, he costanza's something. dad from seinfeld yeah. Yeah. okay um so we get to a point where the, the mom alien is chasing around we, we did skip she beams up the mailman at one point, the mailman's also trying to fuck Caitlyn Deaver up again. The and then he fuck gets, her up as in not fuck her. There's nothing not, no, sexual at No, no, no. It's just like just try to movie. abduct her. Mm-hmm. And there's no probing in this movie. There's no, no probing. There's no, no probing. Sexy they've, adva- shots. they've advanced past probing. Yep. Um, but the mama alien ends up getting trapped in this Subaru. Which I'm like, how much do you think Subaru paid for the spot? And also, like, how does that advert like? What is the psyche for that? They where it's took like, it, but they took it like off. Some, you don't see a Subaru uh, yeah, you signal do. anywhere. I think you do. I don't believe you do. Maybe the steering wheel. But I well, I'm obviously just, I, it's I think a it's, Subaru. It's obviously it's a Subaru. Everyone yeah. knows what a Subaru looks like. But I'm just saying, like, this, do the people of Subaru think like 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 people are going to buy that car by being like, ah, ooh, that's a nice Subaru. Well, to be to and be this, fair, you can't stop talking about the Subaru. So it was true. great product placement, and so maybe yeah. people will watch it and subconsciously be like, you know what, I love a Subaru. Checkmate, Subaru. <laughs> You got me. <laughs> she loves killing families regardless well, of the species. That's on. also another. That's we had the Subaru. You didn't even mention. She like she lights on fire. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, she jumps in the Subaru, explodes. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but she like plays around with a lighter. It's like a little tension, tense moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, this this woman, you know, th- what I was thinking this, because we find out later on. All right. Spoiler alert. We find out later on that she uh, accidentally kills her friend. And then she kills this whole alien family. So I'm just. She like, doesn't accidentally. Well, she, she does. She just. She 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 accidentally kills her. She on purpose hits her. Accidentally kills her. Right. She doesn't realize that the strength it of would the be rock manslaughter. that she smacks her head I guess, with. I guess that is just first degree murder. I'm not sure. Well, it's not premeditated. She didn't plan on doing it. She was fighting back because the friend pushed her, and so to get back at her, thinking that this would then continue on into an actual physical fight she picks up the rock smashes it in her head and she dies or we're led to believe that's how she dies yeah and you have to assume that caitlin deaver is free from legal consequences and that might be why everyone's so mad at her in the town right yeah which you know that's the one thing where it's easy to be a woman in a manslaughter situation you do kind of get off if you killed your friend though would you have left town or would you have stayed in the town 
I mean, I would I, I, ideally you'd want to leave town, but you just don't know what somebody's financial situation is. If her parents died and bequeathed her to the house, right, she, she may not leave. be able to afford anywhere else. Yeah, but yeah, I would I would probably sell the house and move on for sure. Some people stay there though. There's a there was a killing on Long Island a hundred years ago, and these two brothers were accused of killing this their next door neighbor who was like fourteen, and the murder happened in their house and later on the house went for sale and there's like a rule where if a crime happens in a house you have to report it and it was like a big thing because I don't believe they wanted to report it but the family stayed in that house where the girl was killed for 30 years oh my god and a girl was murdered it's not just somebody died I'm cool about the dying even suicide yeah, I mean, but well, someone most being, houses, someone's probably but, and their son ended up going to prison for life and it's like this is the house you stay in but to dan's point no one maybe, else wants to buy it right and maybe financially they couldn't afford to leave hey man I'd but talk about being house. pariahs those that poor family but we jumped ahead a little bit so so she after the car uh fight well yes what and next? The, the car blows the subaru blows up she is safe from a subaru fire and we start to see things. Isn't the relationship with her mother now comes well, to yeah, play? Well, yeah, because the red light thing happens. There's, right. there's one more alien. Talk about the red light. Daddy alien comes in with the red light. Um, <laughs> there's Gives a moment, you the red da- daddy, light daddy, special. <laughs> daddy, daddy comes in with the red light. She's, you know, uh, frozen. She's paralyzed in, you know... Uh, She's able to like he's able to kind of like tell not teleport her but move through telekinesis like slam her against the ceiling slam her down and she kind of finds her way in the middle where she's just kind of hovering mm-hmm. you know mid-air uh craft levitating if you will wheel and uh, <laughs> I wheel if you wheel if you wheel <laughs> and uh and then the daddy alien comes in and he kind of like he kind of like looks up at her and the way he looks up at her it just it's very like Corn freak on a leash. The way he like moves his head, where he's like, but she, you know, he shoots a gross pod thing out of his mouth. Essentially, you know, we assume to take over her body and populate the earth. Um, this is where she blacks out. She goes downstairs, and it's a Christmas village all set up. She's dressed like an American girl doll. She's dressed like a girl who, like, in a Utah family would be forced to have a baby or something. Mm-hmm. Um, like her fr- Stepford wives. Yeah, wives. like, very... The, 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 the yeah, dr- isn't there a bow in her hair? There's not one non-creepy dress for Caitlin Deaver in this entire fucking movie. It's true. Her friend comes back from the dead. She apologizes, but then... Uh, but then when... When she apologizes, she realizes, "Oh, why well, it can't be this easy." So she pulls out, she pulls out the uh, the little bug that Daddy Alien gave her, and realizes it's all a dream. I will say this: mm-hmm. I'm kind of getting. I understand because like, I wrote a horror movie that has a ton to do with trauma, mm-hmm. but I'm. I, I think like the next horror movie that I write, if I ever write one, will save this idea. Don't share it. No, I'm not. I'm just saying. Although like, the Patreon I'm just members, we have to get, we have, we have, we have to, so we have to like, get off trauma in horror movies. I agree. We, we've been doing this trauma because we're going to talk about it with some other movies too uh, on the Patreon. This well, there's month. never like a healthy family. Like even the craft, yeah. it appears that she has normal parents, and then you find out the mom died because the mom was a witch. Yeah. Like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, there's none of that. That's the thing I love about Texas. No, they're like Chainsaw. normal, happy. People. It's just a normal. There's no one's trying to get over anything. But what happened to their the wife, the mom? They what? never explore that in Texas Chainsaw because it's just the dad and the two sons. Well, they're almost they're, 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 as soon as you see them, they're freaks and monsters. So I'm talking about mm-hmm. more of the victims. Like there's, the victims are just victims. They're just kind of oh, like... oh, one hundred percent. But I think like, sometimes they're not like oh, I had a gambling oh, problem. I see. You're saying the victim suffered the trauma. The victim suffered the trauma yeah. rather than mm-hmm. like they went through past trauma and now this new it's a trauma. Dead mom. Is, it's always a twenty four leans heavy into that, and if you if you like think about it in like basically every horror movie they do it's like very much just uh trauma focused not that that makes them bad we love hereditary no i love i mean i love those movies it's just sometimes you want something a little different that's all i'm saying right Um, it's comfortable like you feel safe when you know it's trauma related you're like okay well this starts to make sense but it would be even scarier if it wasn't trauma related in my mind because then it's like what the fuck this person's unhinged well she wakes up in the um in the grass Mm -hmm. and then she sees a clone of herself Mm -hmm. um and uh the clone then stabs her Mm -hmm. in 
the it stabs her and then she she gets a uh, garners enough gumption or strength to stab her back and then hold her and then like kind of like forgive her and that was the part where i was like i hope this isn't how this fucking movie ends where oh, she's like but forgiving herself throughout but no it's not um she starts walking down the road after she stabs herself and she's fine so i guess all the aliens i guess her uh Clone self missed all her vital air arteries because she's totally fine, mm -hmm. and she stumbles upon this giant alien in the road. Um, she's immediately teleported into a spaceship. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool, man. They do talk about this in Alien Abductions and that like what you see in the air is like this tiny spaceship, but it's actually gigantic inside. It's almost mm -hmm. like a Roman Coliseum, and. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and, it's like and, an optical illusion. Yeah, like an optical illusion. Well, they, they fuck with the idea, your idea of space and time. It reminds me of that like stadium uh, theater at the end of uh, Bo is Afraid. It does. Yeah, yes. which is awesome. Sarah didn't love it. Me I didn't love, love that it. movie. We should do it on the show. But I think so. I, lo I mean, maybe I'll me like and Spaventa will just do a Boa's Afraid episode. Ew! What am I going to do? Make you guys fucking shrimp scan? Go, go, Fuck sew, off. sew a dress. <laughs> the new it's. Oh my couple. god! If I could sew and have my own Etsy storefront, you know that's my dream. That would be is really to have hilarious. my own little shop somewhere and sell like trinkets. This whole you, podcast is just me things. finally embracing my truth of being love with Spaventa. Two large men named Dan. Ugh, I would not want to watch you two fuck. The loneliest I'm just porn put hub it out there. Could the you loneliest porn hub You two cue. fucking would be... I don't think physically it would... I don't know if yeah. it could happen. It would look like uh, two people losing a fight at the same time. The, the bears We're might enjoy We're fighting over the last it. hot the dog at a That's barbecue. True. So the aliens surround her, start poking her. She blacks out again, which I was glad. I'm like, okay, we're not going to get like a, like a fucking, you know, uh, a, a surgery scene here. Um... She's back in the heaven of her past, I guess. They're playing with figurines. Mm -hmm. Everything's back to normal in her home. Well, we're jumping beautiful. down to the accident alien. She opens the door. There's police officers. Like her whole, the whole accident's been, been fixed. You know, uh, no, it's not. I'm sorry. The we see we saw, actually see where the accident's happening now. Mm -hmm. We see her hit the rock. Yep. Um, her friend. Um, so it's like she's going through this trauma, reliving it. The therapists, I guess, are just like, I mean, the aliens are just kind of her therapists. That's right. what I mean. Just They're like just helping her process the trauma. Studying her, helping her forgive mm -hmm. herself. And just the the play-by-play -play of it is like, uh, Maud pushes her, she's on the ground, mm -hmm. she falls. She's not really like looking, but and she picks up a, a fairly heavy-looking rock. Like a boulder. Yeah, and is kind of <laughs> just, I think, trying to like piss her friend off but certainly not murder her no and it clocks her in the head and she's uh she's out she's out baby and it's when you hear her say i'm sorry i'm sorry Get it's like the only time caitlin says a lot i made an when she goes oopsie right wouldn't, Oops. You be, wouldn't you be screaming if alien i'd be like get the fuck out what the fuck she's just <laughs> like say something well she's i mean you know that's why she got off of the murder trial and you would have been convicted immediately <laughs> i'd be dead already last meal yeah, you would have been convicted spaventa's lasagna <laughs> and that's it uh it's over but then like she gets through the thing like she starts ha like she gets through this memory she starts happy crying yeah, so we cut to the end. Uh, she's leaving. It seems like she's over her trauma. Mm -hmm. She's, you know, dressed like she's about to meet fucking Paul Newman at an apple orchard. <laughs> Gets outside the house. Uh, and then we start to realize everyone's been colonized. Uh, and they, she has a lovely little dance number. It just uh, becomes one of those commercials for like PMS, where it's like if you suffer from PMS, <laughs> it does. right? And it she does. The out, end of the commercial is a PMS. And that's exactly what, and they're like dancing. It's, it's like it's like yeah, uh, after your no, pussy doesn't is. work, you can still find joy. This movie's not about trauma. It's about the week when women go through. <laughs> Does she she starts dan dancing with the mailman, PMS. right? Like, or yes, they, no, the the guy that scowled at her. The guy that scowled her. Okay, yeah. Like a young man. It's like, yeah. oh, she found Ooh, love. She found love. Like, and, look at this, because she's no longer sad. It's it just it, it, they're doing like moves similar to La La Land. It's real crazy. Oh, yes, a commercial with a woman who found the right birth control. That's what it was. Percent. Yep. They always have like those commercials are the same thing. It's always like a woman like look at her. She's about to kill herself. Do you understand? This is how I felt the past week. I uh, realized I, I self diagnosed myself as suffering from MDD. Shout out women. Um, but I really, you do feel like a. I said to Dan, I feel like there's a dark cloud. And then today, I feel like dancing in the streets. Jesus, let's not turn so, this an episode of What the Fuck with Mark Marin. Uh, oh. Get, get, 
I didn't even consider that when I was telling you my fucking personal journey of suffering from depression. God knows I have to hear it from this one all the time. And this one I'm pointing to Dan. St. Germain, not yeah, Spaventa. Well, yeah, <laughs> Differentiate. Imagine if Spaventa just called me all the time when he's depressed. Yeah, I'm was, like, yeah. I'm not that What if close. I called Spaventa to comfort you when you were depressed? Like, Spaventa, I can't. I got a show tonight, please. <laughs> it's a, this whole movie, It's what I realized, it's the reversed structure of Pleasantville. Which I liked. In, in what way? I haven't seen Pleasantville. Pleasantville, it's like him kind of deciding to live in color and mm-hmm. like... like you know embrace the scariness of freedom mm-hmm. and this is like i said down with the sickness brave new world aldous huxley she takes the pill and it may the, the question that i think it's passing to you guys is i always would have said no in my 20s and now you have a different answer i think the older you get is that if an alien race offered you kind of an elixir uh, a, a magical pill that will make the rest of yes, your life. Yes, I'm just going to say yes to get out <laughs> of phenomenal. whatever the fuck is going and, on in the world right and now. And you, you, but like, there's you don't know it's a lie. Then right, once you take the pill, you don't know it's a lie. So it's like it's only in that moment you know that the life is a lie. Do you take the pill or not? Do you decide to take? Is the everyone pill else the taking the pill? Like, everyone else. Everyone else in my pill. life is a fucking alien now. Yeah, because now but, but yes, if you're hurt, you, you can finally sit it fit in. Right? No, yeah. If you can't beat them, join them is what I think. Like I'd, just. Yeah. I'd like to think I would like fight that to my last breath in order mm. to to maintain, you know, fucking my guy reality. starts using elliptical for one week I and know. he's acting like he's goddamn Rambo. I have something here. to live for now. I work out. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's my problem right now. I don't feel like I do. I'm just kidding. I love my life. Um, yeah, I just think that like if you're at a place, Spence is looking at the cuts on Sarah's arms. <laughs> <laughs> But they're just scratch marks from Mushu beating me up. Um, that's the movie. That's the movie, guys. And and you found movie. out I, I, a little I bit recommend. about us, too. You know, we should have one of those things. Uh, this is All right. Spoiler alert. This is the first episode we're recording. Uh, we, we know that we're recording for Patreon. So, like, we went into this being like, this is going to be for our Patreon. Um, so, we really should give either, you know, there's like, either don't see it. Stream it, mm-hmm. walk to it, or run to it. Right? Yeah. That's the. That's oh, I the, like that. That's it. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say walk to this movie, even though it's streaming. So, so you can just stream it home. So just do what it's telling you. What to do you do. mean walk to it? Like go see. Is it walk the to it above? It, it, high. It better. It is, is walk, walk to it. Above. The best is run to the movie. Oh, I see. Run Let's do three. Run. Run. Walk, walk or stri- skip. Skip. Or, or One skip. walk. Stream or skip. No, oh, because honey, stream should walk be the third. Is, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk yeah, is stream. stream. Stream is like stream is like watch at home on your phone. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah. Okay. Stream is like how I watch almost all. Comedies. I feel like that's too many options. I feel like you run to that's a theater, you walk to your living room, or you skip it. You walk and stream. Stream. I feel like watch. there's got to be one that's like, oh, it's okay, and that's streaming. Right. That's the that's the third one. That's the wa- that's, that's the, walk. the middle. That's no, the walk. Walk is above stream. I can't. Walk uh, to we're the theater ta- is above. Guys, all right. Why don't you all vote on how our, <laughs> our rating system should work? This will be an ongoing debate. Right. I, I'm going to say uh, though, uh, walk, would you go walk to it? It's yeah. it wasn't like the greatest. You know, it wasn't the greatest alien movie ever. It wasn't the scariest movie ever. But, but I, I, had a, I had a blast. It's 90 tight minutes. Yeah. Uh, it's, oh, it's so fucking tight. Oh yeah. Was it 90? Uh, someone. Tight? Fuck my husband in the ass already. I can't anymore. And we're going to prevent. I haven't broken eye contact once. (laughs) I uh, think uh, that's that's the end of the episode. Yes. (laughs) <laughs> what does Ben just start shaking and like as soon as we stop recording he's like we really need to talk about that yeah. like you like actually I don't. mean this is one big me too like our <laughs> I entire guess, I guess I'm HR and those aliens in no, probia the- but I sure will see you next week